I'm Louise from Bearbox and today I'll be sharing on how you can properly care for your down jacket. This also applies to other down products such as a down sleeping bag. Today I have here my Patagonia Silent Down Jacket. I got this at an REI garage sale for almost half off. The other example that I'll be using today will be Williams REI 650 Down Jacket. If you've seen our backpacking videos, you'll see us wearing these jackets. I've had my jacket since last November, I think, so I've been wearing this everywhere. What I really like about my jacket is the unique color, but that is also one of the cons. Stains or like dirt markings, they show up really obvious on this color against the light color. So today I'll be sharing on how you can remove these tough stains. The first thing that you want to do is to check the wash label. Every single piece of clothing item should come with those wash label so you should always read through them before you decide to wash your jacket. Most down jackets, they recommend you using a cold wash on a front load washing machine. The type of detergent that you should use for your down jacket should be a natural detergent. I highly recommend using a specialized down wash detergent for your down jacket. So what I have here is the Granges Down Wash for all down clothing and equipment. So you can use this not only for your jackets, but you can use this for your down sleeping bag. I got this 300ml bottle from Amazon for about $8 after tax. And all you need is one cap for one jacket and two caps for one sleeping bag. For $8 a bottle, this is kind of pricey, but it's nothing as compared to how much money you spend on your very expensive down jacket. Using a specialized detergent not only cleans your down products better, it will also prolong the life of your down products too. Another option that you can use to wash a down jacket will be a natural detergent like this one I have here from Trader Joe's. On the label, it says that it's pH balanced and has no harsh or petrochemicals, which is very, very important. Because the detergent or soap, whatever that you use, that has a lot of chemicals, it will actually leave a residue behind on the down that will prevent your down from drying fully. If your down jacket does not dry fully, it will not poof up you know, back to normal and it will affect the performance of your jacket. So what that means is that your jacket will not be as warm as it was before. You should keep the washing of your jacket down to a minimum and spot clean whenever necessary. So on my sleeve here, I have a couple of stains and I'm going to share with you a few tips on how you can remove these stains. Something that you can use to remove stains would be isopropyl alcohol. So what I would do is just, you know, open it, take a Q-tip and then just dab a little bit on the stain here. If you don't have any of those products at home, you can look into your kitchen pantry and make a mixture of warm water and vinegar. That's a very good um, natural cleaner as well for your down jackets. And something to take note of is that Sometimes what you think might be a stain on your jacket might not really be a stain. Down feathers, they come in all colors. They're not all white. So sometimes the feather could be black color and it might show up underneath the jacket, making it seem like it's a stain. Over here, I have William's REI 650 down jacket. His jacket has that problem, <laughs> if you would call it a problem. So in certain lighting, it actually looks like a stain, but it's really not. Don't worry if you see a bunch of like dark spots on your jacket. One last thing that I would like to add before you put any cleaning products on your down jacket is to please avoid fabric softeners or dryer sheets when you put it in the dryer. And never use bleach and do not iron, none of those things. I will leave a link to Patagonia's website in the description box where they have a very very detailed article on the list of different stains or whatever that you might get on your jacket such as pen ink stain, wine stains, grease stains, etc. and they have the solutions for it. There's two different ways you can use to wash your down jacket. One is the really simple way of machine wash and the other one would be the hand wash. So when you machine wash your jacket, only machine wash on a 
front loading washing machine. The top load washing machine, they usually come with that pillar in the middle and your down jacket or down sleeping bag might actually get caught up in that pillar during the spin cycle and there's a possibility that it will rip up your down jacket. So do not use a top load washing machine. Only use the front load washing machine. Aside from that, just set it to the cold cycle and that's really it. Yeah. Make sure that you zip up every single zip in your jacket before you put it in the washing machine or the dryer. I do not have access to a front load washing machine. So what I do is I hand wash it. The first thing that I do is to fill up a tub with cold water and the liquid detergent and then I soak the jacket for at least an hour to remove the tub stains. And then I'll rinse all the soapy water out and squeeze as much water as I can. When you hand wash a down jacket, don't wring it or don't twist it because you might ruin the down that's in there, you might damage it. To dry your jacket, I recommend using a machine dryer. If you do not have access to a machine dryer, go to a laundromat or find someone who does. If you do not dry your jacket completely, it will affect the performance of your jacket again. Tumble dry your jacket on a low heat setting with tennis balls or those spiky laundry balls. So those balls will be bouncing around in the dryer and hitting, slapping your jacket which will help to revive the loft. So it means that it will help to make it puffy again. This dryer tennis ball method can also be used on your jacket in between washes if you find it a little deflated. But instead of using the low heat setting, I recommend using the zero heat setting. I can give you an estimated time of how long you gotta put it in the dryer for because every down jacket is different. So what I would suggest is to check in every half an hour to an hour, making sure that the outside and the inside are completely dry. Check inside the pockets, you know, all those spots to make sure that there are no wet spots. Since summer is coming around, you might not be wearing your jacket very often. If you have a packable jacket, you know those kind of jackets that you can stuff into a small bag, don't store it like that. Store it the way it is like this, unpacked, and let it hang in the closet with no clothing squishing it because you want to maintain the loft. Make sure that your down jacket is clean and dry before storing it as well. I hope these tips help you better understand on how to care for your down products. In a way, you are taking care of your investments because all these products, they are kind of pricey. If you take good care of your gear, they will take good care of you when you need them in the outdoors. If I missed out on anything in this video and you would like to share it with everyone, leave them down in the comment section below and I will put them up in the description box as well. For more outdoors related content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.